Elon Musk, the innovative CEO of Tesla, has surprised us once again by revealing a possible ammonia-powered engine for Tesla vehicles. That's right, ammonia. According to Musk, this innovation has the potential to transform the automotive industry as we know it. To understand this shift, we need to look beyond the obvious. The electric vehicle industry has been dominated by batteries and electric motors, with Tesla leading the charge. However, Musk is known for always being ahead of his time, and perhaps he has seen something that others haven't yet noticed. Let's get to the facts. Ammonia, a hydrogen compound, has a significantly higher energy density than gaseous hydrogen. This means that an ammonia-powered engine could offer greater range than traditional combustion engines without the harmful emissions of gasoline or diesel. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a bet on a powerful chemistry that could revolutionize the automotive industry. Researchers have been exploring ammonia as a viable energy source. A study from Oxford University highlighted the high energy density of ammonia and its ability to be produced from renewable sources. This could be a significant step towards sustainability, something that has always been on Musk's radar. So, what does this mean for the automotive industry? Imagine this. Companies that have been trying to catch up with Tesla in the electric race, like Ford, GM, and even luxury brands like Porsche and BMW, might be questioning if they are on the right track. After all, Tesla, which led the electric revolution, is now exploring uncharted territory. It's a risky bet, but if there's anyone capable of turning an innovative idea into reality, it's Elon Musk. Are we about to witness another automotive revolution? That's the question hanging in the air, my friends. This potential shift in Tesla's strategy is not just a turnaround for the company. It's an earthquake in the electric vehicle industry. Companies that have invested billions in electric infrastructure and technology might be feeling the ground shake beneath their feet. Let's think about this for a moment. Automotive giants like Ford, GM, and Volkswagen have heavily invested in electric charging networks, high-capacity batteries, and cutting-edge technology to meet the growing demand for electric vehicles. Even countries like Norway have bet big, making electric cars the majority of new car sales. However, Tesla's bet on an ammonia-powered engine puts all this electric-focused infrastructure at risk. Electric charging stations, which have become so common in our cities, might now face potential demand for ammonia refueling stations. It's like building incredible bridges, and someone coming along saying now everyone wants to travel by balloon. This doesn't just affect car manufacturers and tech companies. Imagine the impact on battery companies that have seen a sales surge due to the growing demand for electric vehicles. Companies focused on hydrogen fuel cell technology, like plug power, might now be excited, while those specializing in lithium-ion batteries, like Panasonic, could be under pressure. And if we think about the geopolitical landscape, countries that have bet on electric vehicles might be reconsidering their strategies. Norway, for instance, which leads in electric vehicle adoption, might be reassessing its policies and investments. It's not just a product change, it's a paradigm shift. Building an ammonia refueling infrastructure is not like installing more electric outlets. There are logistical, safety, and public acceptance challenges as people have become accustomed to electric charging stations. Now, the big question. Will companies invest more in electric infrastructure or start exploring the possibilities of ammonia? The world of electric vehicles is at a crossroads, and the answer could shape the future of mobility. We're on the brink of a revolution, my friends, and I can't wait to see how this unfolds. However, it's not all smooth sailing on this uncharted path of ammonia as a vehicle fuel. While Elon Musk smiles with his possible new engine, there are skeptical voices and challenges that we cannot ignore. Here are the criticisms and obstacles to overcome. First, the lack of infrastructure for ammonia refueling is a critical point. We're already used to seeing electric charging stations everywhere, but what about ammonia refueling stations? It would be like having an incredible car, but no pump to refuel. 
A recent study revealed that there are very few ammonia refueling installations in the world. In other words, there's a long way to go to compete with the convenience of electric recharges. Safety concerns are also relevant. Ammonia is a potentially dangerous chemical compound, and handling it requires extra precautions. If it leaks, it can pose risks to the environment and people. It's like switching from an electric kettle to a chemistry experiment. The consequences of a leak are much more serious. Moreover, the production process of ammonia is energy intensive. Ammonia doesn't magically appear. It needs to be manufactured. A Stanford University study showed that ammonia production, especially on a large scale, can require a lot of energy. So, are we really reducing our carbon footprint or just transferring the concern from one place to another? It's unknown territory, and like any new technology, there is resistance and uncertainty. But hold on, we're talking about Elon Musk. He has already surprised us with electric cars, underground tunnels, and space travel. Is ammonia just another challenge for him to conquer? It's a fascinating uncertainty that only time will tell. What do you think? According to Musk, ammonia could be the key to making vehicles truly carbon neutral. It's like Musk is offering us a glimpse of a world where we drive without harming the planet. But, of course, there's always a price to pay and questions to be asked. Musk's statement isn't just a burst of optimism. Researchers at the University of Cambridge conducted a study highlighting ammonia as a potentially sustainable fuel source. The possibility of producing ammonia from renewable sources can really give this fuel a green shine. Elon Musk is not just targeting developed countries with their electric charging stations. He raises the flag of ammonia's versatility, suggesting that it could be adopted in developing countries. Imagine a scenario where ammonia-powered cars are not exclusive to major cities, but an accessible solution for communities around the world. It's an ambitious vision, but we can't deny that ammonia offers a more inclusive method of transportation. However, as with any journey into the unknown, there are important questions. The first one, environmental risks. While Musk highlights ammonia's reduced carbon footprint, critics point to the potential dangers of leaks. Studies emphasize ammonia's toxicity, indicating that exposure to high concentrations can be harmful to human health and the environment. We should also address the noise issue. One of the advantages of electric vehicles is their quiet operation, but ammonia-powered engines do not share this characteristic. They produce noise during combustion, adding a sonic element to the mobility equation. After all, do we want to trade the smooth hum of an electric vehicle for the peculiar roar of an ammonia engine? Would you like that? For Musk, this shift to ammonia might be more than just a move in the automotive industry. With his background at SpaceX, he is well aware of ammonia's potential use as rocket fuel. This raises the intriguing question of whether there is a broader strategy at play, where ammonia not only powers our cars but also fuels our space aspirations.